to Flying Bird here, bringing you the third tournament I actually have taken part of. Actually, this is the third one I'm bringing on YouTube. It's actually the fourth one I competed in. Um, I ca made top eight again. So th this is the first match. It single elimination. Um, so he goes Kyogre's. I lead Kyogre's Zapdos against his Landorus Lipard. I just want to try to set up a Tailwind, and I flinch. I go for it. He goes for a swagger. I'm like, oh great! It's one of those games. One of these games. I just go for the hidden power. It has Yachi Berry. If it did not have Yachi Berry, I'd instantly Oko it. But Origin Pulse misses. I'm just like, great. He sends in his own Kyogre. I'm like, okay, if I can set up a Tailwind here, I'm going to be in a really good position. He knocks out my Kyogre with Foul Play. As I go for Thunderbolt. Um, I went, went Garchomp because I knew Garchomp plus Zapto should be able to Oko it with um, Swagger. Not Swagger, sorry, Thunderbolt. As I, as I nearly knock out Kyogre, and I'm like, okay, okay, this is going to be a really close game. Uh, Metagross comes in last, and I know Metagross can... I have a Protect here with Garchomp, um, double Protect here, because I want to be able to outspeed his life hard and knock it out with a Bullet Punch. He switches in a Rayquaza, and guys, what do I say about Garchomp? He just misses it on the KO, and I'm like, okay. But I'm in a 2 2, and Metagross here is in the absolute prime position. He double protects to see what I want to do, and I'm just like, okay, guys, um, guard jump, why, why you miss KO, please, please explain, or you will be kicked out. But he doesn't, he picks off the Kyogre, and I'm like, yes, uh, a really good comeback there, and a really good game to Kylo Mentz. Um, the next game I had is against Nyx Pokemon, and this is actually really interesting because I don't, um, Clefable puts in a lot of work because considering he's two dark types, I'm just like, let's go Clef Zap. Um, I wasn't, I forgot about weakness policy on Uveltor. Um, I've been seeing a lot of life orb sets recently. Like, I set up a tailwind, I'm like, okay, Clef, let's go, you're faster. He goes in a talent plan, it was a nice switch. Um, if I switch those moves around, I might have been able to pick up a double KO, but what happens, happens. You know, I can't complain. Um, Clef misses because Clef, Clef was trained in the mountains. Um, this is an interesting play. Uh, if I was my opponent, I would have just Brave Bird the Zapdos. He goes into Sableye. I'm like, okay, fax me out. I'm like, okay, that's alright. Oblivion Wings, Clefable. Clefable's like, oh man, you crit me? Serious? Clefable gets a Boom Blast off and he goes, here's his special attack drop. You've been served your orders. He goes for another Snarl. I'm just like, Clefable's like, I'm unaware, mate. What do you want? It's for foul play. Does m like neg neg negligible damage really? As b um, I get the second special defense drop there. I'm just like, here comes Rayquaza. Let's go for protect. Clef, you hit that. Sa you hit that Sableye with a. I go for sorry, Uveltor because I th I wanted him to over predict. Um, he goes into ground on here. I'm like, okay. Okay. He goes for Willow as as I go for a Dragon Ascent onto the ground on. I'm like, okay. You do that. I go for Moonblast and Sableye, I'm like, we're going to have some fun here. Alright boys, we're going to have some fun. Go for an Earth Power, Groudon goes down, I'm like, ooh, unlucky. I go for another Moonblast, narrowly miss out on the KO on Sableye, and go for another Foul Play, knocks out Rayquaza, and I'm just like, oh, okay boys, here we are, one against a million, two two again. Oblivion Wings, my Kogan, Kogan's like, thank you, did I heal you? And he goes, sorry, I knocked you out actually, and then Clefable knocks down his Sableye. Now, guys, this is the round of eight. It's another Smeagol team. I'm really, really going to have to start working on countering Smeagol. Um, I played a lot better. Um, I won't spoil it for you, but if I went with my gut, because I just played this match, so I can tell you my thoughts right off this match. You lead Smeagol, Xerneas, and I'm just like, we can make this fun for you. Um, I actually have Roar on Zapdos, um, just for lols, really, and I want to go for Roar for turn one as he wants to go for Geomancy. Gets a fake out on his Zapdos, I'm like, oh, interesting, good read, good read. He gets his Moody up, and I'm like, oh, great, friend. I go for Zen Headbutt here on new um, Groudon, and I get the the flinch, which is really not handy. Go for a Thunderbolt onto Xerneas. Um, here's a misplay, I shouldn't have gone for Tailwind, I should have went for the Roar. And you'll see why in the end, while it costs me. I go for Tailwind, he goes for Eruption, I'm like, okay. Um, this turn I go for the Iron Head, but... Guess what happens, friends? 
This Garden has Psycho, and Psycho boots for Protect. I did not know that. He goes for a Dazzling Gleam, knocks out my Zapdos. I'm like, oh, great. I've got one turn of Tailwind left. Let's go into Kyogre. Except the rain. Go for a Bullet Punch. Now, the thing that annoys me is that, um... I... <coughs> this Moogle didn't get me this time. And was this stupid Psych Up Groudon. Now, this is the play I want to talk about. My best play here was protecting with Metagross, carrying that Groudon with Earth Power, and then carrying Xerneas next time with a Bullet Punch. But, I don't. I go for the really aggressive Bullet Punch and then Earth Power. But he protects, and I'm just like, okay, great. I've lost. Goes for Eruption, knocks out my Metagross. Earth Power narrow misses out. Okay, that was a shame, but what can you do? I should have brought, brought Clefable. Should have brought, should have brought, should have brought uh, Gacha. So, guys, another disappointing uh, tournament. <sighs> really, I don't really know what you guys want me to say. Um, look, I'm really harsh on myself because I know I can do better, and I'm struggling against Smeagol Zonius, and I've really got to fix it out. Um, now, look. You know, best of three, I probably would have played a lot differently, um, finding out how to psych up. The Raw on Zapdos, gosh, if I went for Raw onto that ground on that turn, I would have won that match. He would have been he would have been gone. Um so look a couple of little plays that in hindsight it always really helps and you guys, I don't know what to do. Um I'm gonna ask you guys for your opinions. Um look this team is really a team I want to bring to tournaments, because I, I love the way it play styles, I love Zapdos, I love Garchomp, but it's still getting to the stage with Garchomp, I have to get rid of it, it doesn't do enough, it, it's a great mon, but it's not doing enough for me, and I think that there's other options out there, and maybe it's because I don't, you know, use it well in tournaments, maybe it's because I've run different sets in the past, and when I play really aggressive with it, uh, you know, it sweeps. But guys, sorry to end it on a sour note, but that is the Flying Bird, and this is a top 8 finish in another Pokemon Showdown tournament.